This is International Math Olympiad 2015. Problem 1. Finite set S of points in the plane is defined as balanced if for any two different points A and B in set S there is a point C such that C is equidistant from points A and B. Set S is called center free if for any three different points A, B and C there is no point in the set such that it's equidistant from all three points A, B and C. First question is prove that for all integers n greater than or equal 3 there exists a balanced set consisting of n points. And second question is determine all integers in the same range n greater than or equals 3 for which there exists a balanced center-free set consisting of n points. We can demonstrate that for any odd integer n greater than or equal to 3, a set of vertices of a regular n-gon is balanced and center-free. Here is the proof. If we select any vertex A of a regular n-gon and draw the diameter of its circumcircle through point A as shown on the diagram, then n minus 1 remaining vertices can be divided into n minus 1 over 2 pairs of vertices symmetric with respect to this diameter. Note that number n minus 1 is even in this case. So this diameter does not cross any vertex of this n gone other than vertex A. Clearly, vertex A is equidistant from each of these pairs of vertices. If we combine such collections of pairs for all n vertices, the total number of distinct pairs in the combined collection is n times n minus 1 over 2. The fact that this total is equal to the number of all combinations n choose 2 of vertices of uh, this n gone proves that for every pair of vertices in such n gone, there is a vertex that is equidistant from that pair. Hence, this set is balanced. Also, each vertex of n gone is equidistant only from those pairs of vertices that are symmetric with respect to the unique diameter that crosses that vertex. And these pairs do not share any vertices of this n gone. Hence, this set is center-free. If n is even, and we assume that set S containing n points is balanced and center-free, and not necessarily a set of vertices of a regular n gone, the picture on the diagram is just for illustration, then the maximum number of pairs of points from which any point A is equidistant is n minus 2 over 2, where n minus 2 over 2 pairs do not share any points from set S. Clearly, any additional pair would share a point from the existing pairs, since the total number of points other than point A is n minus 1, and n minus 2 points are already used in the n minus 2 over 2 pairs. Then point A would be equidistant from more than two points, and that would contradict the assumption that set S is center-free. So the maximum total number of pairs of points in set S, for which there exists an equidistant point from the same set, is n times n minus 2 over 2, which is less than the total number of pairs that equals n times n minus 1 over 2. So, for the case when number n is even, there are some pairs of points in set S for which there is no point equidistant from any of these pairs. This contradicts the assumption that set S is balanced. So, the answer to the second question of this problem is that the only numbers for which there exist balanced and center-free sets containing n points are odd numbers. To answer the first question of this problem, we need to demonstrate that for any natural number starting with 3, there exists a balanced set 
with n points in it. We can demonstrate it by constructing such a set. Since we don't have a restriction that the set has to be center-free anymore, we can construct such a set for any number n as follows. We will include the center of a circle as the first member of set S and will place all the other points on the circumference of that circle. Then for any pair of points that lie on, on this circle, there exists a point equidistant from these two points. It's the center. So the only question is about those pairs of points which include the center and a point that lies on the circle. The third point that lies on the circle is equidistant from the center and the other point that lies on the circle. Only if the angle between two radii to these two points on the circle has measurement 60 degrees. In this case, these three points form an equilateral triangle so that the chord between the two points is congruent to the radius. To achieve this, we will start with the case n equals 3. We will put two points on the circle that form equilateral triangle with the center. For n number 4, we add another point lying on the circle, which has angle 120 degrees with the first point. In this case, we have two equilateral triangles, which form the balanced set consisting of four points. For n equals 5, we will remove the point that has 120 degrees and will add two points that have the same angle delta 1 in the same direction, for example, clockwise, from the first point and from the second point as shown on the diagram. Then it's obvious that for each pair of points center C and any of these four points lying on the circle, there is the third point that forms the equilateral triangle with the center. Then for n equals 6, again we add one more point on the circle that has 120 degrees angle with the first point. Now we can see the pattern. For each odd number n that is greater than 3, we uh, remove the point that has 120 degrees with the first point and add two more points that have angle delta i with the first point and with the second point. We just need to select such values of deltas so that each delta is less than 60 degrees and that all deltas in the sequence delta 1, delta 2, etc. are distinct. And for each even number, we add one more point on the circle that has 120 degrees angle with the first point. That completes the proof.